Hello, this is Miss April, and today we'll be making a pie box. Set aside a slice of pumpkin pie for yourself or your family. All you need to create pie slice boxes is cardstock and glue or tape. The first step is to create a triangle. The height should be 5 inches and the width 4.042 inches. Create a rectangle with a height of 5.373 and a width of 2 inches. Place the rectangle along the edge of the triangle. With the polygon tool, create a trapezoid that connects to the bottom of the rectangle. Adjust the shape if you need to. Create a copy of the trapezoid by mirroring above. Rotate the copy and place it at the top of the rectangle. Select both trapezoids and the rectangle and mirror all three pieces to the left. Align those pieces to the left side of the triangle. You only need the bottom trapezoid on the right side, so delete the one on the top right. You will then create another rectangle that is the same size as those two rectangles at the top. The width should be 4.042 inches and the height 2 inches. Before placing it at the bottom of the triangle, select the triangle and mirror it below. Now you can align the rectangle to the top triangle and the bottom triangle to the rectangle. Lines should sit right on top of each other. Zoom in if you need to. Create a fourth rectangle with a width of 1 inch and the height of 5.373 inches. Place along the edge of the bottom triangle Create a trapezoid at the bottom of this rectangle also. And then mirror left like we did before. Delete the trapezoid on the right. Select the entire shape and create a copy. Move it off to the side and group the original shape. Create another copy and move it to the other side. Create lines on top of all the lines that are on the inside of the shape. Make the line another color so you can see it better. After you are done, move the bottom piece so that you can only see the green lines. Make the size of the lines of the original shape thicker by changing the point size to 3. Trace only the outer edge of the entire shape. Delete the rest so that you only have the outline. Select all the green lines and place on top of the outline. Place the lines so that they match up to where they originally were. Zoom in and adjust the lines if you need to. Color in the shape and change the green lines to dashed lines.
Group the entire design and put it off to the side. Use the copy to create the top part of the pie box. Keep only the bottom and delete the middle rectangle and everything else above it. For the crest, make three large circles at the top of the triangle. Color in the circles and weld them together. You can use the curve shape tool to change the shape of the crust if you'd like. I created a squiggly shape, selected both, and clicked subtract all. So I was just left with this shape. Then I made a few edits. Rotate the box so that it fits within the design space and the mat before you send it to cut. Fold along the dashed lines in the same direction. Glue the small tab that is at the tip of the pie box. Now fold the orange paper and glue it to the top of the box. Next glue the pie crust to the top. And you can add a little dollop of whipped cream by adding a cotton ball. The box can easily be opened and closed to place a pie slice inside, but you have the option of gluing it together beforehand or even using glue dots once the slice is inside. 